and welcome to our video about do ragdoll cats make good pets? Let's start with the short history of ragdoll cats. The ragdoll cat breed began with a cat named Josephine, a non-pedigreed white long-haired Persian Angora type who was bred with several Burman or Burmese-esque type cats. The litters they produced included a large breed of docile affectionate cats with the famous ragdoll trait of going limp when picked up. Ann Baker, the person who bred these cats, continued to breed the line for cats with these characteristics, selecting traits like the tendency to relax when picked up, a pointed coloration, large size, and the sweet ragdoll cat personality. Today, ragdolls are marketed by ragdoll cat breeders as being particularly family-friendly, calm cats with striking blue eyes, and ragdoll cat patterns include pointed, mitted, bicolor, high-mitted, bicolor, and lynx, and more. And you can see all of those color patterns on our website. As a beautiful and sweet breed, these kitties make great pets and are delightful to so many cat lovers. The ragdoll is one of the most popular cat breeds in the world due to its amazing personality. They are known to be gentle giants, which make them wonderful family pets for someone who is looking for that sort of temperament. All that being said, it's time to move on. An especially bred type of cat is for you. There are many different aspects of how you might decide on whether ragdoll cats are for you, from their appearance to their personality, to common concerns people might have about them. And we have all the detailed answers to questions that you might have about ragdolls. So without further ado, here are some questions you should ask yourself when considering adopting a ragdoll. I do want to mention here that I have had floppycats.com since 2008 and I have had ragdolls in my life since 1986. So I've learned the importance of stressing that breed stereotypes for any breed of cat can be deceiving. Never expect that if you adopt a ragdoll cat that it will fit the breed description. Every cat is a living soul, which means they will have a different personality and may or may not possess some of the qualities of the breed. So do your due diligence, make sure that the breeder is not only legitimate, not a scammer, but legitimate and reputable, raises their kittens underfoot, exposes them to many things, loves on them, etc., so that you bring home a well-rounded ragdoll kitten. Moving on to what appearance are you looking for? Ragdoll's name comes from the cat's breed's tendency to go limp and relax when picked up. This is one of the best known features of this type of cat. Ann Baker trademarked the breed name Ragdoll and she set up her own breed registry, the International Ragdoll Cat Association. She urged breeders to make very specific standards in order to qualify so there is a certain amount of consistency so among ragdolls. These are the main physical features of the ragdoll cat breed. They're a large cat breed compared to the Norwegian forest cat, the Maine Coon, the Egyptian Mao, and the American Bobtail, ragdoll cats are truly large. Males can be up to 20 pounds while females vary between 10 and 15 pounds. This makes it one of the largest breed cat breeds in the world. Blue eyes, ragdolls are known for their big blue eyes, which are absolutely stunning. So my, Semi-long haired coat. Ragdolls have a soft, semi-long plush coat, which makes them easier to groom than other long haired cats. They do not have an undercoat, which is very important because this is where the excessive shedding comes from in other cat breeds. But don't be mistaken, ragdolls shed a lot. Endurance. The lifespan of a ragdoll cat averages about 15 years. Each individual lifespan varies according to genetic facts, medical issues developed through the years, quality of the food and nutrition provided to the cat during its life and care, living conditions and more. As you can see, these factors make ragdolls very beautiful, royal-like cats that are highly sought after. However, many people simply see these features and don't do further research. After all, cats are living, breathing souls and no matter how beautiful they are, there is more to them than just their looks. Make sure that you take all the other factors into consideration as well. What personality are you looking for? Every ragdoll cat is different, so if your cat doesn't match these, this exact description, don't fret. It's very important to get to know the kitty you're considering adopting and making your decision based on their individual personality. With that being said, these are some of the main features ragdoll cats are bred for and generally adhere to. Ragdolls are extremely sociable with humans, both their owners and other people. Ragdolls are very close to their owners, but they're not pushy. Ragdolls show their love through constant proximity to their owners. 
and ragdolls are very playful cats with a lot of love to give. These characteristics make ragdolls fit for almost any type of home. They are best suited for owners who are looking for a relaxed cat with which they can develop a close relationship. They may not be a good fit for someone who wants a bold, energetic, independent cat. Although we love ragdolls, their usual personality isn't for everybody and it can sometimes be interpreted as clingy. Do you want an indoor or outdoor cat? One of the big things about ragdoll cats is that they are bred to be indoor only. In fact, many ragdoll breeders make adopters sign contracts saying that they won't let their cats outside. The most common reason people give as to why ragdolls should not go outside is because of their docile and too trusting nature that they wouldn't know how to defend themselves against predators. As with many decisions, the decision to let your ragdoll outside is a, sub is a subjective one but it would definitely have to be an intentional effort to let them outside without losing them. If you're dead set on having an outdoor cat, ragdoll cats might not be for you. More great information can be found on letting cats, ragdoll cats outside on our website. Do you have other pets? If you have other cats, you might be asking yourself how it will work out to bring your new cat into your family. Introducing a new cat in the household is a complex process in itself, but with ragdolls, it should be at least a little bit easier because they're docile and sociable. If introduced properly, and there is a very specific cat introduction protocol to follow that starts with a minimum of a two week introduction, raggies should get along well with other cats if you do it properly. We have information on how to introduce a new cat into your household on our website as well. If you have a dog, that can work too with ragdolls. Ragdolls are actually some of the few cat breeds that get along with cat friendly dogs. It is highly recommended that at least one of the pets be of a younger age. They are introduced gradually and kept under constant surveillance, at least at first. But getting a raggy to, be, to befriend a dog is certainly possible. Do you have children? When you're looking into whether a pet would be a good addition to your family, it's very important to check whether the breed you're seeking out is friendly to children. Ragdoll cats are some of the best feelings for families with children because of their floppy laid back personalities. Ragdolls are often patient enough to interact with children, but are not known to be become violent with them. However, each kitty is a living, breathing soul with its own personality and no article can definitively say how a ragdoll kitty you bring home will perform in your home because also every home is unique and every child is unique and every parent, how they parent that child is unique. So it's pretty important to know how to treat a cat with kids, etc. cetera. So be sure to read about that online as well. Are you okay with the process of adopting a ragdoll? If you're looking for a ragdoll cat, it's probably best to buy either a rescue ragdoll, meaning a ragdoll that has been abandoned or needs to be adopted because a family is moving out of the country or for various other reasons, or a retired breeder ragdoll, which means a purebred cat that ranges from age three to eight, and the breeders have used them to breed, but they have retired them and no longer need them for breeding, so they want them to find a forever home. But you can also, get ragdoll kittens from breeders. And there's lots of different levels of ragdoll cats. You can get a pet quality, a show quality, a breeder quality, or a show breeder quality. The quote unquote level of cat is directly correlated to the different price rungs available from a reputable breeder. Depending on what level you're looking for, the prices of purebred ragdoll cats can range significantly. And I'm not going to include the prices here because those can fluctuate year to year, but all of that information is also available on floppycats.com. When you're looking into adopting any pet, it's very important to remember that the price of adopting the pet isn't the only cost included or involved. You need to save up money for not only the cat itself, but for food, toys, care, supplies, vet bills, money to repair any household damage that may occur and more. It's pretty unusual that you have household damage, but sometimes a kitty can scratch up a couch. Sometimes a kitty could pee on a couch, pee on a bed, and you might have to replace linens. Sometimes the mattress if it went all the way through. So that's why I've included that one. Of course, ragdoll owners know the cost is worth it to them, but it's important to evaluate whether you can afford those costs and whether a ragdoll is worth the extra money for you and your household. In summary, do ragdoll cats make good pets? 
Well, in our biased opinion, ragdoll cats make great pets. However, you need to evaluate whether this breed is a good fit for you and your family's lifestyle. Hopefully this video has given you some insight of where of what to consider, some meaningful criteria to decide whether or not to adopt a ragdoll cat. If you have any additional questions or concerns, please include them in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and we'll see you next time. Also, floppycats.com has hundreds, if not thousands of articles to help you decide whether or not a ragdoll might be a good fit for your household. If you have any specific questions, you can always email me at info at floppycats and I'll be happy to write you back info at floppycats.com. Thank you.